I think it's very important, and, and I don't think it's really football specific. I think it's, I think it's any business. I think it's any team. I think it's any organization. Um, it's about relationships. That is our philosophy, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit today. It's not about the offense. It's not about the defense or special teams philosophy. Um, you know, it's 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 about relationships, and and I believe. Every decision that we make and everything we do is about what's in the best interest of the team or what's in the best interest of the individual. And I think when you come from that place, um, you're able to get a lot of thing, things done because people know ultimately how much you care about. You know, we bring recruits. We had a bunch of recruits in this weekend, and, and they came to the game. And we show them all the great facilities, but in the end, it has nothing to do with the facilities. It has to do with the people. It has to do with the feel that you have in your gut. Um, you know, no different than what we're trying to create in the office. You know, we work long hours, but it's, it's, it's the type of hours. You know, our guys enjoy coming to work, and that's why you see coaches on our staff that have turned down head coaching opportunities. That's where you're able to create an opportunity in a situation where players want to come over to the last building and watch film on their own and hang out with their coaches and go out to dinner and go home, uh, go visit the homes and the families of our coaches as well. It's about relationships. And when you got great chemistry in any organization, in any team, uh, you're able to do special things. How long do you think it took to, to get that great chemistry going here? Or was it already pretty much that foundation here when you got here? No, we're still working on it. I think the team, I think the team, they have great chemistry, the players. But, you know, what I found, and we've talked openly about it, is, you know, when you come in, and they all came here, a lot of them, especially the seniors, they came here to play for Joe. And then Joe leaves, and there's hurt feelings associated with that. And then Billy comes in, you know, and then Billy leaves, and there's hurt feelings. So, that we talked about, you know, the, the players have a little bit of a wall up when we first got here, which is natural, which is natural. And for us to get where we want to go, they have to let us in. They can't do it by themselves, and we can't do it by ourselves. We've got to do it together. So I think the players have tremendous chemistry uh, because of all the things they've been through and, and how they've persevered and stuck together. Um, you know, we're still working every single day to build that trust and that chemistry as an entire organization. That's the coaches, that's the players, that's the trainers, that's the equipment people, that's anybody that comes in contact with our players, making sure that we're all on the same page, that we're singing the same song, and we're singing it in the same tune. And that's going to be a work in progress. That's going to be a work in progress. How do you break down that wall? Is it just a matter of, of time or? I think it's time. I think it's, it's consistency. You know, I think in anything, um, you know, uh, your behaviors and, and how consistent you are and showing them how much you care about them on a daily basis. You know, I, I, I explain it a lot like family. You know, the reason your family is so tight is because you've been through adversity after adversity after adversity. And every time you go through one of those things and you make it out, you become stronger. And, and, and that's what we're trying to do as an organization as well. That's what the, the morning workouts are about. That's what the practices are about. Um, about you know, making sure that we stick together and we fight through tough times together. But that's going to happen. You know, that, that's our strength as a coaching staff. And, and we got great kids here. You guys know that. We got, we got great kids here. We got great people in this community. So not only are we trying to build that chemistry within our locker room, but we're trying to build that chemistry in this community as well so that we can all rally together and, wave the blue and white flag together as one. Everybody, everybody's so proud and excited about what we're doing here. You know, how awesome was it to watch our wrestling program you know, win the fourth national championship in, in, in a row? I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, you know, and, and that's the sense of pride that I get walking around this community and, and going to all the different sporting events. I mean, it, it's unreal. You know, it's unreal. And I try to be nice to Kale because I don't want him to put me in a you know, a figure four uh, <laughs> neck lock or something. Uh, I don't know wrestling, but he's an intimidating looking guy, and I know he could slam me, so I'm nice to him. He's had a lot of success. Is it easier to work on that chemistry now that you could actually work with the guys on the field as well? Because there's so many limits in the offseason yeah. to contact you. Very much so. I, you know, I understand why the rules are in place in the NCAA and the amount of time that we can be together. Um, it's really not an issue, you know, when you've, when you've been somewhere two or three years. Because to be honest with you, at that point, you know they want to get away from you. You know they don't want. Uh, you know you, they've they've been listening to you, talking to you, and that, and that kind of stuff. But right now, when we're still trying to build that chemistry and those relationships, you need as much time as you possibly can get with them. So um, you know now that we're out on the field and 
and being able to really spend a lot of time with them in the meetings and all those types of things has been great. And, you know, we've been able to take the guys out uh, for dinner and do that as well. Um, that I think that's very, very important. Right now we can't take them to our homes, which I think is very, very important to bring people to your home and break bread with them with your family and children. No different than the recruiting process. We go into their homes. I think that's a very, very important piece of the puzzle. But it doesn't make a whole lot of sense right now for me to bring 35 guys over to the residence in uh, and sit in my room. It doesn't have the same type of feel. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to buy a house and get my family here as soon as possible. What's the balance between kind of building that comfort and then with spring practice pushing them? You know, is that you know intertwined? Is it is it something you kind of have to uh, they go together, or do you have to kind of watch sometimes? You know, kind of building a trust while continuing to push and motivate. Oh no, um, yeah, I, I, you guys I think already know this, and if you don't, you'll find out real quick. I'm a psycho, you know, so I coach hard, and and our entire coaching staff coaches hard. But, you know, there's a way to do that. You know, you can coach people hard and you can push them and you can be really demanding, um, you know, especially if you love them hard as well. You know, if they do something good, I'm screaming and going crazy. If they do something bad, I'm screaming and going crazy. You know, that, that's just kind of who I am and that's my personality. And I want all of our coaches to stay true to who they are. Um, but, but, yeah, I, I think, you know, in a perfect world, you'd love to have a year of the off season, but we don't. So we just got to maximize every single day and make the most of it. And uh, like I think it goes back to what we said before: it's the consistency in our behaviors that the players see, and uh, and how we interact with them, and, and and the things that we do and the things that we say. You know, I, I'm never going to get up and say one thing in, in, with the media, and then go say another thing to my team. It's going to be the same consistent message, and you're going to see the same thing with our players when they go into press conferences. You know, we're, we're we're all going to be we're all going to be speaking the same language, singing the same song, and singing it in the same tune. I, I think that's very very important. And and the way social media is now, whatever I say in here, they're going to see anyway. You know, it's just like all these coaches that say they don't read the media or or watch the news. I watch all of it. I read everything that's written about Penn State. I watch all of it because. I want to understand the pulse of our team. I want to understand the pulse in the community. And if there's inaccuracies, I want to address them. You know, so I'm not one of these coaches that are going to get up in here and say that I don't read it. I read everything as much as I possibly can because I'm trying to get to know this community. I'm trying to get to know our players. And they, and they do as well.